guys, I got an extra short video for you today. We're getting to reveal five brand new alchemy cards. This is a free preview given to us by Wizards of the Coast, so we can just kind of show off and premiere these new cards. So let's go ahead and kick it off with Antique Collector. This two mana 2-2 two -two is a human rogue, two relevant creature types, and Antique Collector can't be blocked by creatures power two or less. When Antique Collector enters the battlefield, creatures you control perpetually gain. When this creature dies, you may shuffle it into its owner's library. Uh, if it's in your graveyard, if you do, investigate meaning you get that sweet extra clue token. This is kind of an interesting uh, bear, which is a 2-2, two, two, you know, for two. It has some reasonable uh, bonuses, like it can't be blocked sometimes, and you get extra clues and shuffle in valuable creatures back into your deck. In all honesty, I think that the clue token is the most important part of this card because it helps uh, creature-based decks keep their foot on the gas by getting more cards uh, after they've kind of depleted their hand. But as a whole, I really don't think that this is gonna make the cut in most decks. Um, it is a rare, so you're going to have to spend your wild cards on this or open the new alchemy packs. And in all honesty, I think that the two drop slot in the mono green deck is already kind of full. And this just definitely doesn't come close to beating any of those. This is the type of card I would like to see in limited gameplay. So I still have hope that we're going to see these cards in some sort of alchemy based draft. Let's go ahead and move on to the next card, and that is Tenacious Pup. This one drop wolf is a one two, and when Tenacious Pup enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Then when you cast your next creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter, trample, and vigilance counters on them as well. It is important to note that this creature doesn't need to be played in the same turn. So this can be played on one into a two drop that just gets a ton of value. So this represents uh, you know, a two, three worth of power on board for only one mana with additional two bonus keywords. I think this could be a budget version of Ascendant Pack Leader um, as a replacement for getting rid of an extra rare in that deck. But also I think that there might be room in, this, uh, in the mono green deck for two of these in addition to the Ascendant Pack Leader. Some of those decks were just kind of reaching for additional one drops and they were running things like uh, Death Sprout. And I think that this would be a good replacement for that. Getting to play turn one Ferocious Pup into turn two Werewolf Pack Leader is gonna be a really sweet turn. And I don't think that the deck will be uh, penalized in any way for adding additional one ones. Again, this isn't going to uh, take the place of Ascendant Pack Leader, but it can be used instead of if you're on a budget. Or I think that the decks are gonna have some room to play two of these in addition to those, and it'll be a nice bonus to the deck. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next card. We do have three more, and they're all artifacts. And we have Key to the Archive. Key to the Archive enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, when Key to the Archive enters the battlefield, draft a card from Key to the Archive's spellbook, then discard a card. It can tap at two mana of any combination of colors. This mana rock is a little bit expensive, but it does ramp a fair amount and enters the battlefield tapped. So it is going to ramp you from basically five to seven, which there are some key things at that point, which is going to be like lobster, uh, the whole brick or kraken. Uh, also epiphany, things like that are going to be pretty sweet. But in addition to the mana, you are getting a sweet draft. The way draft works is you're going to be taking three cards at random from a pool and you get to pick from one of those three. So you don't quite have as much uh, decision making as far as what your options are, but you do get to pick between three of these cards. There are 15 cards in total that you can draft from, so it's not a huge pool, so there will be some consistency, but you get to draft between cards like Day of Judgment, Approach of the Second Sun, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Helix. There are a ton of home runs here, including Demonic Tutor and a few other silly ones. There are some low impact ones as well, like Claim the Firstborn and Electrolyze is going to be kind of hit or miss depending on your situation, but it is going to be a sweet card with a little bit of variance that will always give you something relevant. Overall, I don't think this card is a home run by any means. It's really bad if this card gets bounced, divided by zero or something like that because it is a huge mana investment. And another thing is you do have to discard a card when you draft, so you're not getting any sort of card advantage here, but it is still gonna be an interesting card. It will enable you to get your horrors down much quicker. There are also some neat tricks you can do with cards like Teferi who slows the sunset where it can untap this mana rock the turn it comes into play or allow you to tap it multiple times in a turn, which is pretty sweet. You guys know me, I'm not much of a constructed player, so I'd love to hear in the comments what you think of this card and how it could be relevant. All right, moving on, we have two more. We've got the Soul Stealer Axe. This one mana equipment costs two to equip, and then the equipped creature has Trample. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, seek a card with the same mana value as the damage dealt. 
So this is going to add up to a decent amount of card advantage in the long run for creature decks. I could see wanting to run this in green where you've got some bigger creatures where the trample is going to be very relevant, or maybe some sort of white weenie deck where you are getting some flyers and some early aggression to keep your foot on the gas, ensuring that you get more creatures uh, to play. You never really run out. Part of the problem with small creature decks is that you can't quite finish the job when your opponent clears the board for the first time because you've had to invest your entire hand into getting that dominant board state. But with cards like this, you might be able to uh, create a few extra creatures, put the pressure on while keeping a few cards in your hand and being able to survive that first board wipe or two. Overall, equipments don't tend to see a whole lot of play in Constructed. Uh, they have to be very, very special to do so. But I still think this is going to be really fun and something I would definitely play in Limited if they choose to give us the Alchemy draft format, which I'm really hoping that they do. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our final preview card. This is probably one of the more interesting or intricate ones, and that is Wicker Wig Effigy. This is a three mana, one four Scarecrow artifact creature. Wicker Wig has Defender. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. And lastly, whenever you cast a creature spell from your library, it becomes a black bird in addition to other color types. It has flying and has a base power toughness of 1-1. This is a pretty interesting card at three mana. It doesn't quite block as well as the egg does, the 1-4 egg. So it doesn't pair very well against more aggressive decks because by the time you play this on three, you're gonna be facing down 4-4 uh, four, four trolls and Asika's chariots. So it just doesn't trade or block well for the one additional mana. We also typically like to see these sorts of blocky defender creatures in our more controlling decks to give us some time against the more creature-based decks. However, the abilities on this card are all related to having creatures in your deck. So this is probably something you are going to want in your creature decks. Uh, and again, this just isn't exactly what we want to see in those decks because there's much better things we can be doing on three. The one really cool place I can think of where we can find a home for this Wicker Wig Effigy is um, Mono Black, where you have a bunch of little dudes that will, won't actually take a hit by being cast through the top of the library. Cards like Eye Twitch and Shambling Gas will take no negative from this effect, and you'll still get to sacrifice them and generate a ton more value. Those decks also, even though they're more controlly, do tend to have a fair amount of creatures in the list. Even the top end of those decks, like Sedgemore Witch and Skullport Merchant, aren't going to be taking a huge uh, negative from this effect. So overall, I think that that will be a really cool addition, and I'm excited to see what this card can do in Constructed. All right, guys, that's the end of our Alchemy preview list. We are going to be playing Alchemy on the uh, 9th when it's released. So for those of you guys who are interested in popping into the stream, I'll also have some videos up on YouTube shortly thereafter. Uh, make sure you guys do so. Uh, and also give me some comments down below of what you think of our spoiler cards. I'll admit there's nothing here that I'm super excited about and I would love to see them in limited. But as far as constructed, I'm not really sure where they're going to find a home. But I'm sure you guys are much better brewers than I am, so leave me a comment about where you think these could be useful. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in to our spoiler video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave that comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'd like to give a special thank you to those of you who have signed up for our Patreon. I couldn't make this content without you. Also to Cool Stuff Inc. and KMC Sleeves for supporting the channel as well. Definitely check them out and use our discount codes to support the channel.